So what's so great about cruising on a sailboat? I'm gonna do something a little out of character here today. I'm gonna talk about good things. It's a nice day. Beautiful day, actually. If you wanna hear about the bad things that comes to cruising on a sailboat, then, I hate to say this, but watch on probably almost any of my other videos. I do have some, some good stuff out there, too. I'm not, not always negative, but I seem to focus a little too much on that. So today we're going to talk about what's been good in this trip from almost Knoxville, Tennessee down to Tampa Bay and then back. Um, some bad things and me just being tired and frustrated, so I turned around. But, uh, top of the list, I've been thinking, I should have written it down, but I've been thinking about it. So top of the list has probably been my experiences with dolphins. the crossing back from Tarpon Springs to Apalachicola where uh, it was just completely calm. Uh, the water was, was as smooth as the water is here now. In my wake, you could see it for miles and miles and miles behind me in the moonlight. Before the moon came up, I had noticed this glow around the boat and it was the uh, bioluminescent, uh, this is the plankton. Uh, it's cool. It, it looked like the liquid inside of a glow stick, just down the, the wake, down the side of the boat. The uh, yeah. all through here, and then it would come back and just kind of turn into kind of a glittery sparkle. So cool. And then where the prop was turning and, and where the rudder was in the water behind you, you could see this trail behind you. So cool. I looked at that for a while, tried to get it on video. That that didn't happen. Uh, just not enough light for a cell phone to pick up but then I heard dolphins coming oh, and that was so amazing I, the only word that I have to describe it was magical uh, it, it was like a cartoon it was like a Disney cartoon you could see them beside the boat and you could see this this, the, this glow this twinkly glow around them and, and you could see every little movement and then they would jump out of the water and you know the splash would glow and and they would swim under the boat and dart from side to side for a few minutes, 15 minutes, you know. And they would be gone and then more would come. And then they would go and then more would come. You could tell it was different because it would be two at first and then one. And then like a whole pot of them came. And then there was a, a mother and a baby. They stuck around for a long time. And I just watched them swim and her follow her, her mother's every little move. And, and it was just so amazing to watch. It was almost undescribable better than that uh, just you know the cartoons when things fly around they've got this little glitter trail behind them that's kind of like what it was it's just so amazing uh, so that's number one um, interacting with nature being out beautiful peaceful days like this uh, it, it makes it worthwhile when you can when you can relax, which kind of rolls into the second one, the downtime, the peaceful time, uh, in the passages that were, were calm enough that you could, the sun was on you and the days were clear and the water wasn't so rough that you could just, you could just sit and relax and, and enjoy being still while you were still moving, going somewhere. Uh, so that probably number two is, is the very peaceful times that you can have. Uh, three would probably be a close toss-up between the people you meet. I met some just wonderful people, and, and everybody wants to talk and travel together, and everybody's got their stories, and we can talk about the good times and the bad times together because everybody's had them. Uh, misery loves company, but also joy does too. You, you love to share the, the good things. And the places, uh, some of them have been, you can know, walk around and go, okay, a day I'm tired of this town, but some of them, Tarpon Springs was real high on the list. Um, there were some, some negatives about it too, but the city marina there in Tarpon Springs, I really enjoyed. 
step off the boat and you're right downtown, you want to go get some awesome Greek food for lunch or go pick up a Cuban cigar or a cigar made by a Cuban <laughs> anyway, within walking distance anywhere. It was a little far to get to uh, provisioning. Uh, you may do. It's a mile and a half walk to a Walmart, so it's hard to carry anything back. But other than that, Tarpon Springs was great. Um, there was a, a dock we tied up to a Clearwater Mean, another boat. Uh, that was really nice. Uh, so the sunny, peaceful days, and, and we just really have no other responsibility than make sure the boat's okay. Just sit back and enjoy life. So it is certainly not all bad. There are sunshine and, and boat drinks and all. So the plan from here as it stands, unless somebody walks up with a big wad of cash and says, hey, I really want your boat. Uh, I'm heading back to the Knoxville area and uh, can stay on land and work on the boat. The engine needs to be rebuilt. I've got a, a bad oil rear main seal leak, so it's got to come out anyway. Might as well take it somewhere a thousand bucks and go and have it rebuilt because it does smoke quite a bit and that's really irritating. So off the happy subjects and back into real life here. Uh, where I'm going. Going back uh, 13 months from now or so, 13, 14 months, uh, will probably be a really good time of the year. The showers will be passed and hopefully Vicki and I will be heading back down and if nothing changes we're going to be doing this thing together. So haven't given up yet but I'm ready for a break. I'm ready to go home, spend some time with her and uh, get some stuff done to the boat, take a little time off and, and not dealing with it and then go back to work, get enough money to, to pay for the things I need to do. Um, a couple things I want to change and definitely things that, that need to be done for the boat. So there you go. If you plan on doing this, expecting some hard times, expect some hard times, expect some, some downtime that just makes you think, what the hell am I doing? And I've thought that a lot. What am I doing and why am I doing this? It's Sometimes it feels like you're in a car just kind of driving around and on vacation you just go to another town you do the same thing, go to a vacation, another town, but then there are some really good times in between. I'm looking forward to sharing that with, uh, with Vicki. And uh, if I'm still doing the YouTube thing, I will share it with you guys too. Uh, thanks again for sticking around. Thank you for your support and all the wonderful comments I had on the uh, I Give Up video. So, um, there you go. Maybe there'll be something between here and there, and if not, um, in a year, maybe you'll see me again. I uh, appreciate you watching.